Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and boy, am I excited. It was kind of coincidental. Last night, I was thinking about things to do in my show, and I thought, you know, they still haven't released that update to SDR Uno for the SDR Play and other SDRs with the scanning capability. So I went to bed. I got up this morning, and I checked my email, and there's a new video from Steve at SDR Play about the new software that has the scanning feature. And this is a um, this is his video. He actually has two talking about uh, two different features, new features of SDR Uno. Uh, one being the scanning feature. And I, I think it was about a week ago, I mentioned um, trying to scan the Citizens Band uh, band and using a scanner and, and was hoping, was, you know, talking about, oh gosh, I'm excited. I was talking about most of these SDR programs don't have scanner capability. Now, there was one quite a while ago that came out as a plug-in for SDR Sharp, and it worked pretty good, but it was a little confusing in setting it up. Well, now, SDR Uno has that feature. And in this video, and I'll put a link to this video in the description below this video, it just came out. Um, he goes into detail about this new scanning feature. And there's two options, um, a band scan and then um, I would call it frequency scan. And I'm just gonna quickly just show you the band scan and really go watch this video. I don't want to make any mistakes and show you something that's wrong or so show you make you know like have something go wrong and it's caused my setup. So I'm I'm learning here too. I just now downloaded and installed. All right. So let's go to the documentation first. So here is if you go to let me go back. Well I can't. Okay. If you go to, why well, guess we'll this go back? I guess I closed it. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got these out of order. That's the problem. Let's put this one over here. So if you go to SDR Play website and you click on downloads right here, it has the software and the documentation. So if you come over here, here's a new manual. Just came out March 14th for SDR Uno. And then down here, is the SDR Uno release notes, and that's what I'm going to just briefly show you. Well, over to, it's over here now. So here's the release notes that tells you all the changes to SDR Uno, and of course the latest change is the top, and it says added frequency scanner range and list, uh, I, IQ output bandwidth for VFO, and a whole bunch of other things that were added and I won't go into those right now. And then here's some changes, and here's some fixes, and here's some remaining known issues. Yeah, I just want to hit auto layout for 1920 by 1080 now incorporates frequency scanner window. All right. This is awesome. This is awesome. Um, so now let me go back and bring up, see which one of these I want to click on that brings them all up. There it is. So. You go to the program that you have installed, and the first thing you see is a little window that there's a new release, do you want to install it? So if we say yes, it takes you to their website where the new release file is, and you click on that file, it downloads, it installs, and you run it. it as it's just said, it automatically reconfigures the screen to add this right here, scanner configuration window. And so there's a couple of options, and like I say, I'm not gonna discuss this too much at this time because it's brand new to me, I don't wanna mislead you about anything, but I just wanna show you kind of the example he shows you at the beginning of his video, but he goes into much more detail. So what you do is you can either say scan a range or scan through the memory panel, which is this 
it creates down here, or you can create either one. Okay, in his example, he goes up here and uh, clicks on Show Scanner Settings, and then here's the settings. And this is for pre, pre <laughs> okay, calm down here, preset ranges. And so he's, they have already programmed in some ranges. And the one he showed was the Airband. I think he showed maybe the Airband ROW. I'm not sure what that means, but this is Airband North America. So you select that, and then it fills in all these numbers. The start frequency, the stop frequency, the frequency step, the hold time, the threshold. It, it explains all this stuff, and I, so I'm not going to try to explain it to you. I will go over it in a, another video myself and show you me using it. But I, I, want, I want you to go to his video and see how to do everything correctly. I don't want to give you bad information. And then you can um, select wait on a signal to go away, like you would on regular scanner radio. And you can display the threshold of the signal. Uh, you can save to the memory panel. Well, this is automatically default was clicked. So that's where it's, I still scan and start saving stuff already. And then you can have it to do continuous loop. So it doesn't just do one scan and stop. I just keep scanning the same frequency over and over again. And um, you, can, you can modify any of these numbers. All right, so I'm just going to show you a quick scan. This is the air band. Um, I'm not connected to a air band range antenna. I'm connected to my G5 RV, so it's not a good antenna for that, but I want to show you. So you hit scan. Okay, Bob. It's scanning. Four, seven, eight. Yeah, that's okay. runway three, four. Now, it's already found most of these, but if it finds a new one, it'll add it to this list. Yeah, there it added a new one. And then, let me stop it. Clear water, air park. Automated weather, okay. One, zero, five. I'm, I, it's, it stopped on um, the local Clearwater Air Park uh, tower. It's not really a tower because it's a tiny little air park, but it does send out this beacon and this information. So it's really close to me. It's probably a mile line of sight. So that's where it stopped. Uh, then, and I haven't tried this mode, you can then tell it to scan these frequencies that it's found, like your typical scanner. And you can add frequencies, I suppose, because I haven't tried it. And you can delete frequencies. And then note that that default mode, it was scanning, but it was only stopping for the defined time. Let's go back and show it to you. Okay, so it's only holding on a given frequency for one second. You can change that. And you can also change it so it doesn't even after this time has expired, whatever you set it to it, it doesn't go on if there's still a signal there. And that's this option here, wait on signal. I guess that means, go oh, here it is, pause, whoops, go ahead, go ahead, show me again, come on. Pause, scan, and definitely whilst signal, I think it says is present. Which is normally what, yeah, so it's just normally what you have in a scanner. You don't want to continue on if you, you're hearing stuff. So I, I click that now, and let's try it again. Okay, go. Wind, one, one, zero, at five, visibility, one, zero, three, thousand, scattered, temperature, one, niner, Celsius, 2.16L, temperature, three. Okay, as I said, that's a local air park, and this information is being broadcast continually. So that would prevent, if you selected the mode I selected, where it stays there until the transmission stops, it, it would never leave there. Now in his video, he shows you how to basically lock that out, that frequency out. So it, it won't even stop there anymore.
because you know this one I don't want it to stop at because that's boring it's, <laughs> it's boring anyway that's one of the new features again go watch this video in a couple of days when I feel a little more comfortable with using this and the new functions I'll do some videos so if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you're excited as I am about this new feature, a scan feature for your SDR. Whew. Have a great day. Bye-bye.